I'd like to welcome us all to another night of encounter with the Spirit of God and with the Word of God. And it's my honor to lead us to prayer prayer tonight as the worship team ministers. And we'll be praying a simple prayer. We'll say, Holy Spirit, use me to change my world. You see, we see through the lens of Scripture that the Spirit of God is the advantage of the believer. And that it's in partnership with the Spirit of God that the believer is able to manifest the possibilities that are in the God life and so Jesus understanding this will admonish his disciples in Luke 24 verse 49 the B part it says tarry ye in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high and you see Acts 1 verse 8 declares that you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and on account of that endowment you will be witnesses and you see down the line in Acts 17 verse 6 the people the people in Thessalonica testified of the disciples and they say this be the men that turn the world upside down so tonight wherever you are I'd like you to lift up your voice and say Holy Spirit use me to change my world I like you to yield yourself the Holy Spirit use me to change my world Raske barate sesora etis galati Seladi soro se barates Sendo sora ates ke brate la das dia
we'll change the world. You and I will change the world. Say, we'll change the world. We'll change the world. lift our hands to heaven and thank him for his power that is at work in us thank him for his ability at work in our spirits thank him for partnership thank him for koinonia are you giving him all the praise For his power at work in us, that the excellency of power may be of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' matchless name we have prayed. It is true that God can help men. It is true that the Spirit of God, when he holds a man, he can do wonders through that man. It is also true that the power of the highest can reside upon a mortal man 
and cause you to do extraordinary things. May all this be your portion tonight. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere you see the wonder walking manifestation of God in the midst of his people, the Holy Spirit represents the omnipresence of God. The Lord walking with them and that by his spirit. Hallelujah. He is the God factor in the midst of people. He answers to the ministry of Jesus. Turning ordinary men to be extraordinary. This is what he's made out of our lives. And this is what he's making out of you tonight. A sign and a wonder. An ambassador, a witness, a battle axe that is efficient. You believe that? Cry in one minute and ask the Lord for an encounter. I am here again. I am here again. Go ahead and pray. Pray without distraction. Pray with absolute focus. I am here again. I am here again. I am here again. Someone cry to your maker. Don't look around, pray. I am here again, visit me. Turn my mourning to dancing, my sorrow to joy. Give me illumination, let me encounter your wisdom. Continue the making process. Continue the building process. Continue my becoming, my emerging. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give us mighty visitations and encounter tonight, O God. Change our lives by your wisdom. Empower us by your spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray.